We are joined by Porter Bibb, managing partner at MediaTek Capital Partners. Uh, Porter, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. This is right in your wheelhouse. What do you make of this deal? Well, 20, 30 movies for $4 a pop, uh, sharing movies with your friends, social networking. Uh, it's a beginning for Facebook. It's not anywhere for Miramax. It's, it's not going to work. It's, it's a beginning. Uh, it, it sounds like it's not even a step. It's maybe a wiggle of the toe. If that. Uh, but Facebook, with its gigantic viewership and uh, more than a half a, a mil half a billion people around the world, it, it represents a, a, an audience that the content providers are all lusting for. So you're going to see more deals. As Gigi just mentioned, it's third in, the, in terms of uh, video uh, distribution right now in the world. And once they start doing deals with the studios and the television networks, look out. All right, on Wall Street they say uh, if you haven't done something once, you're nobody. If you've done it once, you're an expert. So, what, I guess if they can do a deal with Miramax and bring in 30 or 40 movies, right. then they're suddenly experts and everyone wants to do it? Well, we're at the tipping point with, with media right now. It, for a long, it's a cyclical situation. For a long time, the distribution forces, primarily cable television, MSOs, they, they ruled the roost. Now it's back to the content, and because distribution has been fragmented, there are a hundred different ways you can get video and films, whether it's off television or, or the internet or in the cloud or off the cable. Um, what what happens now is the the content providers are making a lot of cash with deals selling licenses to cable and the existing infrastructure, but they're looking at a much much bigger universe, and that's what's going to be the change. That's why we're at the tipping point. All right, talk to us about the proposed sale of Hulu. Put that in perspective. Yeah, well, Hulu is basically a distributor. They don't own anything. They're owned by three television networks and, and uh, uh, media conglomerates and Providence Equity. Um, they can't promise the buyer anything because the content providers are looking at all kinds. I mean, Fox is one of the major owners of, of Hulu. I believe Disney and other? Uh, Disney and, and um, um, who else is uh, Comcast, I believe, NBC, right. you. Okay. Um, Fox already has taken a lot of their television content and some of their movies and put them out through other channels. And they've just last week extended. It used to be 24 hours after a show aired on Fox, you could see it on Hulu. Now it's eight days. It's going to be 30 days next week whenever they decide that they can make more money through other channels. I, I'm not sure that the Hulu, which the bids are in for tomorrow, um, but it may not happen. It may be a non-event. It's, it's just a shell, in other it, words. It, it's a distribution vehicle, that's all. Uh, and, and they don't have any content. Uh, the companies that own it have said they will give the content that is there now for maybe a year or two, but no longer. And uh, they wanted to go public in the spring for $2 billion. The best prices that I've been hearing right now on the street are somewhere around a billion. It could go as low as $500 million. It's very possible that there's no sale. It's also possible that some of the owners hold on to it. Providence Equity is probably the only guy who's going to make out well because they have a put that gets exercised early 2012 for oh, imagine that quarter. million. Dollars. A private equity guy figured out a way to make money no yeah, matter what. That's right. Hey, it's a wonderful world. That's Wall Street. Well, our thanks to Porter Bibb, managing partner at MediaTek Capital Partners.